We must realise that democracy can be fragile. This imperfect but precious way that we organise ourselves, that is being created to give equal voice to the weak and to the strong, that is designed to help drive consensus, it is fragile. For years, it feels as though we have assumed that the fragility of democracy was determined by duration, that somehow the strength of your democracy was like a marriage. The longer you'd been in it, the more likely it was to stick. But that takes so much for granted. It ignores the fact that the foundation of a strong democracy includes trust in institutions, experts, and government. And that this can be built up over decades, but torn down in mere years. It takes for granted that a strong democracy relies on debate and dialogue. And even the oldest regimes can seek to control these forums, and the youngest can seek to liberate them. It ignores what happens when, regardless of how long your democracy has been tried and tested, when facts are turned into fiction, and fiction turned into fact, you stop debating ideas and you start debating conspiracy. It ignores the reality of what we are now confronted by every single day. Whether it's democratic elections that erupt into violence or the COVID crisis emerging and exposing mistrust of experts, institutions and governments, Western democracies are seeing it and experiencing examples, and New Zealand is no different. Now, I will admit feeling some trepidation entering a discussion on how we strengthen our democracies when this issue is so easily and wrongly distorted and to being opposed to free speech. But that fear is overshadowed by a greater fear of what will happen to our democracies if we don't act to firm up our foundations. If we don't find once again our ability to argue our corners, yes, with the passion and fire that conviction brings, but without the vitriol, hate and violence. If we don't find a way to ensure difference, that space where perspectives, experience and debate give rise to understanding and compromise, doesn't instead become division. The place of entrenchment, where dialogue departs, solutions shatter, and a crevice between us becomes so deep that no one dares cross to the other side. We are at a precipice.